Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Isabella Natando and this is the channel we're all about growth, motivation and encouragement. And in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about um, how many lessons is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven lessons that I learned from Grace Anatomy season 12. So you know that here yeah, we're all about growth. We're all about personal development. We're all about drawing lessons from the everyday happening of life. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm going to be telling you guys what I've learned and what I like. So it's going to be a little bit of a review because I'm going to be taking you back guys on some of the episodes and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I learned is sisterhood and I think we noticed this um, in season 12 about a couple of episodes in I mean I think maybe episode 7 or 8 or towards the end around 18 19 episodes and when um, Meredith Amelia and Dr. Pierce are like always fighting and then there's this day when they're walking um, in outside of the hospital I think I'm going to put the clips up here if I manage to but if I don't you, you guys are gonna have to just like if you've watched it then you know so they were walking down the street and they were like we are girl bosses we are women and we are single and we are happy you know and I learned a lot that um it's important for you to have like a group of women just a few not too many just a few women who are out out there to just cheer you on to support you and to encourage you and I really loved that scene and I really felt like you know what I need sisters you know and I'm really grateful that I do have two sisters that I love like every time we talk I just feel fulfilled that's how I feel and yeah that's the first lesson so lesson number two is uh, breaking glass ceilings and I noticed this um, it was the first few episodes of season 12 when Dr. Miranda Bailey was um campaigning to become chief of grace lawn hospital and i really love this series if you guys can tell <laughs> it's embarrassing but i love to binge on it like when i was in college mm -mm, i would like not write any assignments just doing this but yeah the second lesson is uh breaking glass ceilings and dr miranda bailey was a woman and she was black and she was living in a society where men were more appreciated white people were more appreciated but she worked really hard you know she convinced everybody she 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 worked so hard to get where she was and i remember in the episodes when she was uh, battling with another doctor who had been invited for the interview and she was just looking at her and thinking oh my god she's a goddess you know but then in the end she got it so i just thought i could like share with you guys how it's 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 possible for you to break a glass ceiling or even you know go further than a glass ceiling because I think we live in societies where people appreciate people of the opposite sex more than they appreciate us people appreciate people with long um, wavy hair more than they appreciate a woman with a big afro people appreciate um, people who have a certain way of speaking more than they appreciate other people so I think it's important that uh, in every space that you position yourself in you make it a point that you know what i'm going to try and just break the ceiling i'm going to you don't have to shout about it just break the ceiling by doing what you know best you know by being excellent at your service and the third thing is compassion and protection for women and children and i really love this one because i think compassion is the basis of humanity you know i think it's important for you to look at another person and feel compassion to have empathy in your heart so yeah that's a big lesson that i learned i learned it mostly when um dr Kerf and dr kelly were treating these two girls who were hit by a train um and these two girls were like of the lb lgbtq community yeah they were of the lbgtqi community and you know it's easy for you to like 
you know, feel I don't know which word to use, but to feel like I cannot associate with those people, their values and my values don't go along the same lines. But I think it's important for you to put compassion in humanity before anything else. So I really loved how Dr. Kelly handled the situation and everything and in the end worked out very well. And um, the other lesson that I learned is um, moving on and letting go. Wow. This is a big one because I think people get stuck in spaces, people get stuck in situations, we get stuck with people that are dead sometimes. I think in the previous episodes we also witnessed uh, Dr. Izzy Stevens, she was stuck to a dead boyfriend, you know? And in this epi in this episode it was uh, Dr. Gray and um, Derek Shepard, they were married and she was failing to move on. like. I've been married before my husband died, but how do I move on from this? So I think letting go and moving on from certain situations, certain people, certain circumstances that may have kept you stuck in a certain area or a certain behavior even, because sometimes people don't know that you're stuck in a certain place just because it's not a physical place that you're stuck in. It's an emotional state of mind. It's, it's, a, it's an emotion, you know? So I think le letting go of those things and making the decision to say you know what i am moving on even um dr avery jackson and april also portrayed this lesson when uh dr avery was failing to move on from the fact that his wife failed to deal with the death of their child and she also failed to move on from the fact that her child died but this is a new pregnancy i need to deal with it totally differently because it's a different season, you know, so I think every season comes with its own lessons and hardships But it's important for us to learn to let go and move on. So the next one is um, Loss of a loved one is always hard This one is real and it's true and We saw it when uh, Dr. Edwards lost her rockstar boyfriend. Um, I think the biggest lesson I learned from that is not just that a lot of a loved one is hard, but also the fact that um, losing a loved one causes you to start blaming other people. Because I think if you're a fan of Grace Anatomy, you noticed how Dr. Edwards started um, blaming Dr. Shepard, the girl Dr. Shepard, for the death of her boyfriend. Like, why didn't you invite me to the OR? Why didn't you tell me about the, your treatment plan? You know, stuff like that. But I think. It's very important for you to separate the reasons that someone died or the reason why you lost a loved one, whether it's to death or something else, and the fact that this loved one died or you've lost this loved one. So I think a separation of emotions, like I've read something that say don't ever make decisions when you're sad. And I think in this moment, it really makes sense because you don't want to start blaming somebody for killing somebody you love just because you are in a rough emotional patch you know because this person has nothing to do with it you are just hurt and you are looking for ways in which you can hurt this other person so that you guys can hurt together so yeah that's the other lesson and then the other thing is that men are intimidated by powerful women and oh my god this is a big one and I think we all noticed if you watch it you know that um, Dr. Pierce was dating a resident and the guy ended up breaking up with her just because he was intimidated by her power. He was intimidated by her level of strength, of, of authority at the hospital. She could pull strings and have him get stuff and just the fact of him having to get things because his girlfriend is an attendant, it hurt him, it pinched him so badly that he could not continue with the relationship. So I think because we're living in a new era, because we're living in the 21st century, I think it's important for men to rethink their values um, regarding like, you know how you have values that you base your life on. I think you need to rethink those values depending on where you are. Because if you are still stuck with values from the 18th century where women were nothing, were nobodies, were just um, home builders, and then you're now living with women who are you're working with women in like engineering in information technology in medicine in environmental science everywhere that like women are now incorporated in the system so if you still believe that women know nothing 
and women can never say anything of substance it's going to be hard for you to you know foster or forge good relationships with people in the world because it's a new era i don't know what do you guys think and then the other lesson that i learned is that you should never allow your past to haunt you and i noticed this when um dr karev and his uh girlfriend what's her name i'm forgetting her name she was stuck in an old relationship and she was failing to accept dr karev's proposal don't ever let your past haunt you okay don't do it it is not worth it it's a new era it's a new season it's just the same as moving on walk away from your past because it's in it's in the back i i, I read something interesting he said the windshield of a car is this big and then the rear view mirror is this big so it simply shows you that you need to have the bigger picture should be forward and then the smaller picture should be in the past like you just check the back just slightly but your bigger focus is on moving forward and i also noticed it when dr owen and dr Rin were fighting about dr owen hunt's sister who died in the war and they failed to have a good relationship they failed to even work together just because they were stuck in something that happened ages ago so i think a person's past should never be the reason why they fail to do anything in life at all with that i say thank you guys so so much for watching if you do not watch grace anatomy girl what you doing with your life because it's a really good series and i hope that uh you guys look for it and that you enjoy the depth of the series with me thank you so so much for watching i hope that you like comment and subscribe and invite some of your friends also to the channel that we can have more discussions on personal development and drawing lessons as well from general life happenings i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video stay blessed